Good afternoon. It's Bunny Tracks, and who is this? Easily forgotten. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get the camera on both of us, but we are back on the trail. We took several days off in Bernie. I think about five days off. Is that correct? Five days. Okay, there's Bunny Tracks, and we're um, hiking, and as you can see, there's lots of snow. It's all, it's all snow. We're about 5,200 feet elevation. And we and we were just walking, and he made the comment, I bet it's too cold yet for any large predators to be out. And what did we see run in front of us? A big, a bear, black, big black bear. bear. Oh. He saw us. It was couldn't have been two minutes after I said it. And he saw us, and he was running. So, so he's we, up ahead of us. We're going to... When I get up there, I want to see if I can get the tracks in the snow, because he was on this road. Yeah. Amen. But... Uh, we're not too thrilled about the snow, but hopefully just a few days and at this higher elevation. And then we'll get back down low and maybe we'll get out of some of the snow. I know we're going to have it. It's going to be inevitable unless we take time off, but we haven't decided yet. <laughs> Here's the tracks in the snow where that bear ran. And you can see tracks way down in the distance and coming up. But I'll have to get a big shot of one of these. That's a big, it was a big bear. Now it kind of scares me. Look at my, there's a clean print. Okay, let me get up there. There's my foot next. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's only like a size eight. But that's a big bear. That's one paw. Yeah. It's snow. I'm sure it's slide, so he's not quite big. But he looks really like a pretty big boy. And then he ran up in the woods. We're hoping he's not eyeing us and going to stalk us. Okay. I don't want him to leave me, so I better catch up. This is our campsite for the night. We are, I don't know how many feet elevation. Where are we at elevation wise? I don't know. Yeah, 5100 or 52. We got our boots drying and our socks drying over here in the sun. Actually though, it's kind of raining right now, but at least the uh, socks are in the sun on there drying and my boots are there in the sun and then across the way we've got a set up to do our cooking for tonight since we saw that bear we're being a little more cautious about how we do things since there are bear out we want to make sure that we're doing everything correctly so that we don't get eaten. Anyway, what are we having? Tonight we're going to have uh, pasta that I doctored up with some dehydrated veggies. And some Fritos and guacamole. Some guacamole and Fritos. And then for dessert we will have mint Oreos. And hot tea. And hot Sounds tea. great. We'll all help you fix.
looking outside our tent. We hiked about, what do you say, 10 miles yesterday? And about six of it was in snow. Easily. And snow is really bad. I mean, you can see out there, and we had to find a patch of just rocks to camp on last night because the trail is just all snow. We still have about 13 more miles of snow because we met some people that said that it's about 20 miles of snow like this. So we're not looking forward to today. Actually, we're looking forward to getting out of this snow. I'm going to circle around to the other side of the tent. Here's my... It's really pretty out though. Out of the way, easy. And there's, looking out the other side, it's just clouds, but you could see beautiful mountains last night. It was, it was like just, camping on top of the world. Yeah, it's beautiful, and the moon was so pretty last night, so it was nice. And all the wolves and bears and yeah. mountain lions were up here circled around the tent. Yeah, Ooh. but we're packing up and we're going to head out and get these 13 miles out of the way so we can get out of the snow. I'm shooting a little video of our hike for the last several days. As you can see, there is a trail, not much. We've met several southbounders, but it's just all covered in snow. I mean, it's pretty, but it's very tiring. I'm using lots of energy. We did see some bear tracks back there in the snow. As long as they're not following us, I'm good but I can walk in the snow I think a little bit and film this is straight and flat we've been on some ridges and hills and up and down which oh my gosh that's so tiring we do have our spikes on because it does give us a little bit more traction we have our spikes so we might as well wear them but the sun keeps going in and out but the clouds are dark around us and there's still lots of clouds. So, this is what fun we're having. Odor or vapor? There's easy filtering water. We got off the trail right down here and we're gonna stop and have lunch. We're thirsty, thirsty, so we finally got down far enough to where we can run into some stream runoffs and there's one right there and it's so pretty. So we found some ground and there's the snow that we're walking on. It's been a rough day, gosh. Maybe I'm old, but whoo! When you have to walk in that snow that's several feet deep, that's tough. If we had skis or snowshoes, it might be better, but we don't. So I'm gonna sit down and eat my lunch. Well, we made it. There's this little hut alongside the trail that the three southbounders the other day told us about. We've made it. And there's Easy up there on the porch. I'm getting ready to go up there. Good morning. We stayed in the little hut last night. Slept pretty nice. Now this morning we're up and we've been on the trail and on the road and on the trail and on the road. And now we're climbing up Mount Grizzly. Is that what it is? Grizzly Mountain. Grizzly Mountain. It looks like everybody's going over Grizzly Mountain instead of uh, the trail. trail. So and look at that. And steeper. We are right next to Mount Shasta and it's got a nice view today. It's not in the clouds, but we're headed there. Yuck. You're doing good. Just make sure you get the foot planted. They're so, they're so wide. 
I know, but you're doing it. That's the worst part. You're through it. That was scary, I agree. Wait, don't move. I'm not. And then just keep moving fast coming up that slide. Because it's going to go. You made it. This is the trail we jumped back on. We were going over Grizzly Peak and we got up there and it was just too steep, uh, too scary. And I told him, I said, there's no way I can do it. Which I was relieved. Which he was relieved too, but the peak is up there. Uh, maybe I can get up here and get a better shot. We would have ended up having to walk across that cornice. There. Yeah, we'd walk across that and then come down versus we've ran into some patches of snow on the trail but and I see some over there in the distance I see our trail but I think we we're both shook up very shook up because that was so scary. There's a deer right there on the trail. He's so cute. We're setting up our tent. We got this nice campsite and it's right by a stream. There's a stream down there. I don't know if you can see it for water. There's a fire pit, but we're not going to use that. And then look what we see over here in the woods. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little deer just standing there watching us eating. So cute. It won't hurt you, baby. I just looked up and saw something moving in the woods and... I'll take the deer. Sorry, you're in my camera. In my video, mister. Someone's <laughs> gotta do the work. Someone's gotta do the work. Listen to him. Someone's gotta video this pretty little deer. Doesn't seem too scared. Okay. I better go help with the tent. Well, we've got four deer running around our camp right now. And what this tells me is Bunny needs to drink more. She's using a lot of sodium, I guess, in her urine because this one's over there eating where she peed earlier. They're not quite so cute now that I know they eat pee. We do have our socks hanging out here that we're not going to leave out now that we know they're so salt hungry. They don't seem to be at all concerned about us. There's two more. There's a total of four. There's rival gang going on. This one chased off another one. And it's with two others in its gang. It's West Side Story all over again.
crossing Squaw Valley Creek. It's a beautiful little creek. I didn't have my camera out yesterday because it was raining on and off all day and misting and just miserable. Here's our sign that we're coming to, but it's going. We've already been to McLeod River and Adina. So now I'm headed across and there's some people out walking. And I'll show you the pretty bridge and oh, this is so beautiful. We have about 17 miles to get into Santa, or what's the name of the, Shasta, Mount Shasta. Ooh, that is so pretty. We're taking a break on the trail and I just looked out and that's Mount Shasta in the distance. Most of it's up in the clouds. You can get a good glimpse, but blue sky, pretty day. We're doing well on the trail. We're going to sit right here and have a snack and... Then we're going to try to get into Mount Shasta tonight, possibly tomorrow, if we can't make it all. But we've got about 10 more miles, so we'll see. It's been a beautiful trail. We actually have climbed to the top of the peak. And then it's all downhill from here, so it's a beautiful day, beautiful surroundings. The trail actually from, really from Grizzly Peak down has been just gorgeous. And the campsites have been nice, and we've had water. to get a picture of this tree which all of my viewers from Missouri better know what this is it's our state tree and then in the distance Cat tail. is Mount Shasta I just thought this was a beautiful spot so I thought I would get a video we're headed into Mount Shasta I had to take a shot of these mountains in the distance I'm not sure what all these peaks are, but man, this is just beautiful. There's some dark clouds over there, but then there's some peaks with a lot of snow on them still. I'll have to find out what these peaks are, and then I'll let everybody know. There's a little town down there. I'm not sure what that is, but we're headed down.